me your initial view of the position of the court, the outcome of the uh, the decision uh, of the of the judgment, and what you make of it in all. Uh, thank you so uh, so much, Sean, uh, for inviting me uh, to your show. Uh, first of all, yeah, I did stay. I, I stayed for over thirteen hours in the court, uh, and I was very attentive, and I listened to to the judgment as was read by the different uh, justices. Uh, for me, the first thing is I'm not surprised at the outcome of the court. Uh, like I've said uh, previously, what we saw in the court was was a movie, and there was a trailer. Uh, before that movie, and that trailer came in when Mary Odi, uh, former Supreme Court Justice Mary Odili, uh spoke. So it already preempted what was going to uh, come out. One of the things that I found very, uh, I don't know the word to use, whether to call it, it's not, it's not shocking really, but very sub. Let me use the word surprising. One of the things that I found very surprising was how the same. Uh, tribunal that had said they were not going to televise the the whole proceedings, uh, you know, and, and everything that happened when the trial was going on, that they were willing to televise it uh, when they were going to give judgment and also asked that their faces should not be shown. So it was a bit odd, for so especially for those who, who watch it at home, just not seeing who were speaking and just looking at the people who were supposed to be like uh, spectators, per se, beyond the, the, the lawyers that were there, the counsels that were there. So the first thing is that when we are talking about integrity and we are talking about justice, justice must not be something that it's only uh, 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 done, but it must be seen to be done. And the essence for that life transmission that uh, many citizens had asked for was to be able to be part of the process, to be able to see whether evidences were brought in or they were no they were not brought in, whatever it is, beyond before seeing the judgment, because there were certain things that were brought in uh, for that the councils of the different practitioners had had, had brought in, and also the the counsel to so the respondents had also brought in before the judgment, the uh, justices made their own uh, judgment. So there was a need for people to be able to see that, which was denied, and it's so it's so easy for me. I I didn't see any part because I wasn't part of. Uh, in the court in or throughout the trial it wasn't televised for me to have an opportunity to see and there are a lot of people like me who just started here who just heard the judgment and what they were saying so that's that's for me one the other thing just sitting down in the room because i was attentive throughout i literally can tell other than the time i went out to go and pray and uh, even the, even i thought they were going to shorten it so i ended up uh for, for those who are muslims who understand i ended up uh, putting combining uh, zuhur and asr together before i went for uh, murder. So I stayed uh, practically all through it, and I didn't blink, and I didn't even lean back on my chair. So I was, I knew I was, I was very attentive, and I was watching uh, the judges or justices as they are as they are called. I never know which one is always the, the right pronunciation. But just watching them and seeing how gleeful they were, how ecstatic they were, how joyful they were when they were sort of like tearing into the petitioners. Um, tearing into the petitioners uh, when they were reading out the petitioners uh, judgment so there was this almost vindictiveness of this is what we feel and that's that's what i saw sitting down there i'm a witness i was in that uh courtroom and i was watching what them. do you think you could know, be responsible for that uh well i i will come to that just saying let me give you that summary of just saying how people talking about, oh, do you think for you to come and prove that there's election malpractice or rigging, it's like it's like drinking coffee in a pack or something, it's like drinking coffee. Do you think we're going to go to the marketplace and go and get everything? The kind of language they were using, I was absolutely disappointed in the kind of language. I've seen, you know, I've read about Lord Denning and the kind of things he writes about and how he has talked about what, uh, you know, judges and use of words. So here the, the use of words that were being read, I, I can't believe that this is something that should be on ground for the next 100 years, that some citizens are going to sit down and look into, and they are thinking, are we these kind of people that lived a hundred years ago? These are what will be representing us when they are reading uh, this thing. And it, it's it's for me, from my own uh, uh, perception, it looked as if the, the, they were not unbiased the way you would expect them to be unbiased. Because if, if the same tone, if they had used the same tone when they were talking up about issues that related to the respondent, then you say, okay, that's how, that's how they are. But they weren't. 
you could see the defensiveness. You could see almost as if they were not the judges, they were not the justices, but they were actually counsels to, to the respondent. And, you know, sort of like, almost as if, oh, they, they have done this. You could see them so happy when they're talking about issues that concern the respondents and all of that. And uh, if we're looking at that judgment, one of the things I, I want us to point out is that when it came to the 25% FT, FCT, it's a constitutional interpretation, right? Also, when it came to the issue of forfeiture, it's also a constitutional uh, uh, interpretation. But the way the, the justice is just, the, in the judgment, the way they just read, he read glibly through the issue of uh, the forfeiture. And then when it came to 25%, he would tell us that, oh, a constitution is a living document. A constitution is something that you don't just arrive at, not just the technical, not just the literal meaning that you're going to look at, but you're going to look at the effect it's going to have on citizens of today and citizens of tomorrow, which is perfect, which is the way it's supposed to be. But what I found very surprising was that they didn't apply that same thing when they were talking about the forfeiture. So they could just glibly and literally and just say, not even literally, Literally just clip over it and say, oh, this is not this is not what it should be. And then when it came to 25 percent, it was different. I uh, it, it's it's so it's so unbelievable. And what I would say to you, Shewi, is this it's the judiciary that is on trial. Honestly, the Nigerian judiciary is on trial. And and over time, I personally and with a lot of people, I've always said I, I have no trust in the judiciary. I've never had trust in the judiciary because a lot of the problems we have in Nigeria, they are also the cause of it. A lot of people that have gotten into offices that ought not to have gotten into offices, there is always one thing on issue of technicality or whatever that they've had. And I'll give the example of the 25%, uh, not 25%, uh, of the card reader in 2015. Uh, I think that was uh, Nielsen Wiki and uh, 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 Peter side, Dakuku Peter side. And, you know, they will come to say that card reader is not admissible uh, in, in court. And that would that show us years back. That brought a lot of violence into our politics. You have the last uh, Ahmed Lawan case, who didn't participate in the primaries. Yes, today he's a senator from his region. So we've had a lot of this. And that's why you mostly see uh, politicians will say to you, uh, they will do everything. They will kill the women. They will do everything to get into office. And then they will say to citizens, go to the court. And if they own the court, and what has happened with this judgment is that almost reinforcement of you know that owning of the judiciary that uh, a corrupt politicians seem to have